Now my family, Prince Harry Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, attended the one year to go in Victor's Games dinner. And clearly, they were having a remarkable, splendid time. And allow me to say this. I've enjoyed just seeing Harry Meghan having a good time promoting the Invictus Games. I've enjoyed every single part of all this. I've enjoyed it so much. And, and sadly, today is the last day. Sadly. However, I must say, I've enjoyed seeing Harry Meghan. I wish... We could see her make it even more and more oftenly, but really I'm thankful. I'm thankful for this time, this period, these three days that we've had to see how wonderful Harry Megan are, how amazing ambassadors Harry Megan are for the Invitas Games. And also how happy Harry Megan clearly are. I've enjoyed seeing it. I've enjoyed it. And uh, Prince Harry gave a speech at the Invictus Games one year to go dinner. And Harry received a standing ovation as he closed out an emotional trip to Canada. And my family the one year to go in Victor's Games Dinner. So, up to 200 attendees mark the culmination of Prince Harry and Meghan's visit to British Columbia. And Harry and Meghan clearly had so much fun. They had so much fun and I've enjoyed just watching them both. I've enjoyed it all, my family. Harry and Meghan clearly have had so much fun. And Prince Harry closed out an emotional three days in Canada on Friday, February 16th with an amazing speech at a gala that saw Prince Harry receiving a stunning ovation from up to 200 guests including wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. You know, what Harry has built with the Invictus Games is so special. As Harry even said in the heart of Invictus, that he has lost count of the number of kids, wives, Husbands who've come up to him and said, thank you. Thank you, Harry, for founding the Invictus Games. To support veterans who are wounded, sick and injured in their journey of healing and recovery. Thank you, Harry. And no wonder, even when he was giving an opening speech at the Invictus Games in Tusseldorf, Harry also received a standing ovation because people appreciate him. Thank him for bringing a smile to their faces after Harry created the Invictus Games. You know? And clearly, wherever Harry goes to, he's receiving standing ovation because he's a good man. He's a good man, a good husband, and a good father, and clearly also a very, very good veteran. Now, the event that Harry Megan attended featured over 200 attendees, my family, who were seated for dinner, which marked the culmination of Prince Harry and Megan's visit to British Columbia, whereby Harry and Meghan have been able to create and set a tone of equity and celebration ahead of the 2025 Invictus Games. And also,
also, it is worth noting that Harry and Meghan have shown enormous respect to the First Nations. You know, that's what Harry and Meghan have done. They have respected the local culture. You know, even a while back, actually, you know, Harry and Meghan was seen touring the Squamish Little Watt Cattle Center with youth ambassadors, Chief Nelson and also Wilson Williams. Harry and Meghan have shown enormous respect to the local community. And also Harry spoke about issues which affected the local community. You know, whereby Harry will try finding ways to support and help the local community and family. Harry has touched so many lives. Show respect to the local culture. You know, and no wonder he is so, so loved. The guy is so thoughtful. No wonder. You know, even Chief Dean Nelson said this about Prince Harry. The guy is so down to earth. And clearly he cares. He's a good man. And Meghan married a very, very good man. A good husband and a good father. And long may keep on being a good husband and a good father. Harry, please keep on being a good father and a good husband. Please. You know? And no wonder... No matter what you can have done with this smear campaign that's been going on for eight years now, still Harry Meghan are loved, respected. Wherever they go to, they receive and get standing ovations. This smear campaign has been a failure. No one believes the lies that are being spread about Harry Meghan by the Wiki media. And that tells you something. That tells you a story that this smear campaign has been a complete and utter failure. You know? Now, Prince Harry, when beginning his speech at the Invictus Games one year to go dinner, Harry began by first thanking the First Nations for opening their land for the Games. This guy is smart. This guy is so smart. And Harry said, and I quote, our collective journey through truth, through truth and reconciliation is an important one for all of us. And as we come here to learn, my hope is we can depart and return as friends. Wow. <laughs> Harry, you're a smart man. When I am with the invidious community around and surrounded by so many brave women and men who have served their countries with distinction, I feel humbled and at home. <laughs> wow. Wow, just wow. Harry said, and I quote, that as we look forward to next year's games, we are reminded of the progress that we have made. And all the challenges that we have overcome and the victories that we have celebrated. Our journey has been marked by courage, termination, and an unwavering commitment to shared values of service, sacrifice, and community. My family, just listening to this guy, the farm, the royal family, you know, lost an amazing asset when they chose to be abusive to Harry Meghan and refused to protect Harry Meghan, they lost a great asset. No wonder, really, you know, the media, tablets, are so desperate to get Harry back in the UK. No wonder. Because right now, they are seeing what they lost. And also, they are seeing that the smear campaign is a complete and utter failure after seeing the warm reception that Harry and Meghan are receiving wherever they go. <laughs> they are seeing that this smear campaign is a complete and utter failure. <laughs> Harry and Meghan are loved wherever they go. You know? To the point that Turkey Media are now discussing, you know, that 
Harry may want to return back to the old fold, even just temporarily, even just for a short while. They are desperate. They are desperate. Yet Prince Harry has been vocal in saying that he has a family of his own to focus on. And that clearly is happy in the US. But tablets are desperate to have Harry back. Because Harry is the one who is loved. Harry is the one who clearly sells papers and gets clicks. And gets clicks. The others don't sell papers. And they want Harry to bring himself back to make money for the UK media. Who clearly are hell-bent on trying to create drama around Harry and Meghan. Harry is someone who has always been a good man. And really, despite everything he has been through, clearly he's always been a good man. And long may continue being a good man. Always, my family, always. And no wonder, people love him, adore him, respect him. Because they know a good man, because of his actions, his actions have shown how good he is. Taking care of Megan, Artie Lilipet, from the racist media, UK media. Harry has done that. Protected his family. Stood up for his family. Megan, Artie Lilipetana. You know, and he still keeps on doing that. And despite all this makeup against him and Megan, Harry continues to do good. Megan continues to do good. They choose to do good. You know, and that tells you who Harry and Megan have always been. Good, remarkable people. Good, remarkable human beings. You know? And Megan was there. She captured the attention of everyone in an elegant olive green off the shoulder dress by Canadian designer Greta Constantine with her makeup flawless and hair styled in natural waves. Megan paired a outfit with Manolo Heels and Logan Hollowell jewels and she looked completely gorgeous as she always does. You know? And Harry said that our journey has been marked by courage, domination, and also an unwavering commitment to shared values of service, sacrifice, and community. Wow. 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 The farm lost a great asset. You know, when they refused to protect Megan. As Harry told Charles and his courtiers, you are doing a great disservice to yourselves. You are doing a great disservice to yourselves by refusing to protect my wife. You know? And they refused to protect Megan Marco because they thought only Megan would leave. Never did they expect that Harry would live with Megan and now he has and the media tablets and the farm have never been able to recover from that four years later and UK media are still practically begging for Harry to want to come back even just temporarily they are begging for Harry to want to come back to want to return but yet whenever Harry is in the UK instead of showing him love respect Tablets are abusive. And still, they want him back. <laughs> it's like they'll never ever understand that the abuse of Harry Meghan only drives Harry Meghan away. It clearly does not make Harry Meghan want to stay. And no wonder Harry never ever spends more than 26 hours in the UK. My family. Never. And clearly it's because of how abusive and racist UK media have always been. And no wonder the media industry in the UK is the least trusted media in the planet. You know, my family, even, you know, other countries are laughing at the UK media industry, are mocking 
how it is. No one can trust them. Nobody. No one can trust the media in the UK. And it's not because, because of what's happening, because the media not being trusted, the economy in the UK right now, my family has gone into recession. Has gone into recession. While the media is focused on bullying Harry and Meghan, the economy is crumbling in the UK. While Harry and Meghan are thriving elsewhere. While Harry is getting a standing ovation in Canada. And wherever he goes to, Germany, sort of, anywhere he goes to, he gets a standing ovation because he and Meghan are loved. And the smear campaign has been a complete failure. You know, and my family, I love that <laughs> Harry and Meghan are thriving. I love that Harry and Meghan are doing so well. And long may Harry and Meghan keep on being blessed, my family. You know? And Harry and Meghan were joined at their table guests, you know, with friends like Michael Bublé. I'm told that that is how my family is pronounced. Michael Bublé, who had spent time earlier, who had spent time earlier in the day, learning wheelchair curling with Prince Harry and his wife, Luisana Lopilato, with Michael serenading guests with a new song that honored the games and was set to the tune of Frank Sinatra's My Way. Thank you, Michael Bublé, my family. You know? And the lyrics which have been rewritten include phrases like, and I quote, who knew dreams could come true? When life tells you you are far from finished and one man life-changing plan, he does all he can. He is a visionary. And so ended with the refrain, you've earned each day the right to say, I did it my way. And the evening was not just a farewell, but a bridge to the future, symbolized by the thoughtful gifts presented to the couple by Joanna Sparrow, an indigenous advisor for the games and sister of Chief Wayne Sparrow of the Musqueen Indian Band. My family, Harry Megan are also receiving gifts, gifts, my family. The smear campaign has been a complete and utter failure. When Nikki Media want to see Harry Meghan isolated, people want to be close and around Harry Meghan. Wow, I love this. I love this. I love this. And no wonder William will always be angry because the smear campaign has been a complete and utter failure. And um, my family... Harry Meghan were gifted woven blankets from the stylish people. Gifts for their kids. You know? Were also imbued with important messages of remembrance and connection to their parents' meaningful endeavors. Wow, 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 wow. I love this. I love this. You know? Now, the tale of two nations, dramas, and dances, including the vibrant participation of young kids to the stage at one point, sharing their traditional songs and also dances. Wow. My family. And uh, Mike Bogua, who represents Invictus Team Canada 2022, Tended a warm welcome to the audience at the beginning of the evening, further cementing this sense of camaraderie and purpose that the Invitas Games embody. And British Columbia's premier, David Ebby, also expressed his honor in hosting the gathering, looking forward with anticipation to the Games next year. And Ebby shared an inspiring encounter with an Invitas athlete who claimed the games had been a life-saving experience, highlighting the power 
of such international gathering. You know, and he said in a quote that we are going to do everything we can to make these invitas games the best games you've ever seen. Abby promised, underscoring a commitment to excellence and support for the participating heroes. And uh, also, Canada's Minister of Sport and Physical Activity, Carla, said this. He echoed this sentiment of dedication and also purpose. And that she projected confidence in the flawless execution of the games and their lasting impact. Emphasizing the core values of service, family, and community that the Invitas Games celebrate. And Carla drawing from her own personal experiences in parasports articulated the games as a platform for at least to defy limitations and challenge social assumptions about disabilities. And she remarked, and I quote, our disabilities and our injuries don't define us. They are part of who we are, sure, but not the whole story. You know? And the Invitas Games sends a very, very, you know, empowering message, says Carla. My family, you know, that is some things that was in my family at the event. And my family, I am loving this. I'm loving this, you know, so much. My family, thank you to Prince Harry for founding the Invitas Games. Thank you so much to Prince Harry for what you've been able to do by creating the Invitas Games, you know. And also let me read you Prince Harry's full remarks in Canada. My family, here is what Harry said. And I quote, Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Thank you all for being here tonight and for your commitment to making Invitas Games Vancouver Whistler 2025 possible. These games have been so warmly welcomed, have been so warmly welcomed by our four host First Nations who have opened their arms and land to each of us, not only tonight, but in the lead up to and during the game next year. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Your generosity is cherished. Harry then said this and I quote, our collective journey through truth and reconciliation is an important one for all of us. And as we come here to learn, my hope is we can depart and return as friends. And when I am with the Invitas community, surrounded by so many brave men and women who have served their countries, with distinction, I feel humbled and at home. Your passion, commitment, and spirit has built a platform on which British Columbians will develop our first ever winter hybrid games, including first time sports seat skiing, seat snowboarding, curling, biathlon, and of course, skeleton. And as we look forward to next year's games, we are reminded of the progress that we have made. And also challenges we have overcome and victories that we have celebrated. Our journey has been marked by courage, determination, and an unwavering commitment to shared values of service, sacrifice, and community. This year will mark 10 years of the Invitas Games and the past decade has been a testament to the power of resilience and the unbreakable spirit you all exemplify. And boy, have we had fun on the way. And from the strip, I'm happy to report the air is thick with excitement and the best part is we are just getting started. And the Invitas Games are not just a competition. They are a way of life. A celebration of the human spirit. And the games provide a platform for us to showcase our abilities. 
to inspire the world and honor sacrifices of those we have lost. It is a reminder that we are not defined by our injuries, but by our strength, our commitment, and our ability to overcome adversity. Invictus is not necessarily about winning a medal, but about the bonds that are built between nations, are about shared journey of recovery that competitors and their families are a part of. Tonight, we take one big step on that journey. And in less than 365 days, we welcome the world to join us once again for another epic week. I ask each of you tonight to go out and share our message with the world. Tell your friends and family, your network, that on February 8th, 25, they should join us here. Or make sure they are tuning in and watching, telling stories on social media and continuing to share the inter spirit long after the games are over. And that as we continue to prepare for the next year, let's remember the words of William Ernest Henley, the poet whose work serves as the namesake for the Invictus Games. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Let's embrace these words. Let's continue to inspire each other and the world with courage, leadership, and fortitude. Thank you, and I can't wait to see you back here in Canada very soon, says Prince Harry. Wow, 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 wow. This guy... My family, he knows diplomacy and he knows how to say the right thing. You know, no wonder everything he touches turns to gold. No wonder, no wonder what both he and Megan touch just turns to gold because they are so, so incredible. My family, you know. And my family, I can't wait for the next Invictus Games. I just can't wait for the next Invictus Games. I know that they're going to be fun, you know, full of fun, you know, happy. It's going to be amazing. Fun field and my family, we can't wait for that. My family, the Invictus Games has touched the lives of so many people. And I, I believe that it's going to continue to touch lives of so, so many others. It's just amazing. And my family also, it's nice to see Megan and Prince Harry and they look so incredible. And Megan, gorgeous as always. Now tell me, you're just about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion, family. I know you are also waiting for the next Invitas Games, my family. You know, we can't wait. And with that, I have so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lipetana and Doria Raglan. And all of you members of at home. Hate never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. And may God bless you all, my family. Keep praying for Megan and keep pushing them the best. And my family, it's nice to see Harry Megan always and forever just smiling, happy, and may they keep on smiling and being happy every single day of their lives with family. And Megan looks so gorgeous, as always. And so stay tuned to the next video. Love you all forever and may God bless you all, my family. This my campaign has been a failure and Harry Megan keep on thriving because they are good people with good hearts. And no wonder they keep on being blessed. Stay tuned to the next video. Love you also forever. Oh, and also, Prince Harry is not coming back to the arms of his abusers. Harry will always take care of his wife Meghan and his children, Prince Archie and Princess Lipidana. Stay tuned to the next video. Love you also forever. Hello, members of the Scopa TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, 
and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.